Hello friends, welcome back to Mycology Exploration. And in this video, I wanted to answer some of your questions about liquid culture and slurries. So a lot of you have talked about putting agar to grain, and we do that. We have videos on that. You can absolutely put your agar transfers to your grain jars, your WBS. However, those agar plates don't last forever. At least we've experienced that they don't last forever. And when you create this liquid culture, you have this mycelium suspended in nutrients. It's an agar jar without the agar. So it's all the nutrients with the mycelium. And what we do is we actually put the transfers from the agar into this liquid culture. And then recently, we've been talking about these slurries. And I'm gonna create a video for you where I'm gonna show you how you take these giant agar jars, it's just an agar plate down at the bottom there, and you can see the mycelium has grown out to the edge. And then the husband pressure cooked this purified water for us for 40 minutes. And I'm gonna pour 100 milliliters of this water into each of these jars, and then we're going to stir it, like so, and it'll break up and become a slurry. Now this one did not break up. I had this one in one of our recent videos, and I left you a little note explaining that the, the agar on the bottom we had was way too thick, and so it didn't break up. And we even added more than 100 milligrams of water to try to break it up, and it just never broke up. And so this agar should be broken up. Now, it looks really amazing. You can see all the mycelium. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get a syringe out, and I'm gonna take a syringe of this LC, and then I'm gonna get a different syringe out, two clean syringes, and use a syringe here. And then what I'm gonna do is create two more LCs. So again, I'll get new syringes. I'm gonna take a syringe of this one and a syringe of this one and create two new liquid cultures. The liquid cultures have longevity, a long life. And then what we've discovered is that when you mod these tops and there's air exchange, they last even longer. So this is breathable tape that we have here. And so we've corrected our issue with the slurry and just made a smaller, a thinner agar at the bottom. So I'm gonna have a video for you on this. I will show you what's happening in here and then I'm gonna pour the water in for you so you can see what's happening when we create the slurry. And the slurry is just another liquid culture. And the idea on the slurry is that you pressure cook it inside this large jar. And so it's a tiny little Petri dish down there, an agar dish. So we pressure cook it, then we do our transfer, and then it grows out to the edge, and then you pressure cook your purified water so there's no contamination, and then you simply pour in 100 milligrams, you stir it around, it becomes a slurry, and then you can pour more pressure cooked water in. So you can actually fill your jar up if you would like. The reason why you start with 100 milligrams of water is to break up the agar at the bottom. It's really difficult when you add more than 100 milligrams of water. And again, I'll have a video for you on that. And I just wanted to show you because there were a lot of questions about LCs and slurries. And a lot of people I think are not understanding the longevity the shelf life of LCs and slurries, especially when you have these modified lids, air exchange. And so we're looking for some longevity because we've cloned a lot of mushrooms and we wanna, we wanna have those on hand. So I'm just creating a whole lot of slurries and liquid cultures so we don't have to be cloning on repeat. We really like what we've cloned, and so now 
we're creating the LCs and the slurries for everything. I hope that answers your questions. Keep your comments coming. The husband reads your comments and he replies to many of them. And then the next video I'll have for you is again about these slurries and that process. Much love.